Hey everyone. All right. I parked the little blue beauty a ways back and I've traveled eight kilometers to the same district, but a much more vibrant area of Longgang district. Uh, there's a much, much larger population base. Right across the street behind me over there is the Vanke Mall, right over that way, which is one of the most beautiful shopping centers I've ever been in in my entire life. There's really good subway service here. And as such, this is a lot more touristy location, even just for the locals. So that means that there are a lot more people on the streets here, even though it is Chinese New Year. And as such, a lot more restaurants, grocery stores, hair salons, uh, pharmacies, things like that that are closed in my neighborhood will actually be open here. In fact, I'd be willing to say that probably 90% at least of the businesses in my neighborhood are closed. Whereas here, I'd say at least 70%, if not more, are actually open. And we're talking restaurants, foot massage, grocery stores, pharmacies, post offices, everything you could imagine. I even saw a bank open today, which really blew my mind. I was not expecting that. Now, if you look right there, that is the very first building that I stayed in on coming back to China last year. Uh, we flew into Hong Kong and we got ourselves a bed and breakfast in that building because we wanted to have a little look around the area and look for a more permanent apartment. And of course we did find it, but we have come back to this area a couple times. However, this is my first time coming on a bicycle. And to be honest, I had no idea where I was going. I have an unerring sense of direction, no matter where I am in the world. I've tested this in Thailand, Australia, America, China, all over the place. I just set off on my little blue beauty and I went out to find my way to this area, to Vancouver Mall specifically, and I made it. <laughs> Eight kilometers later, here I am. And it is, it's just such an amazing district. There are so many restaurants, so many businesses, so many things to do that it's no wonder that so many people come here. Like I said, it's, it's like a tourist destination for the local people, but people wouldn't come from Beijing to see Vancouver Mall. They have malls equally as nice in the heart of Shenzhen or in Beijing or wherever people are coming from. But for the local people from, I'd say a 20 kilometer radius, this is really nice. You can find every kind of restaurant you want, any kind of food or service that you want. It's all right here, it looks nice. Um, obviously it's a little bit slower today due to the holiday, but uh, nonetheless, a really, really cool, cool place to come visit. And I'm glad I did. So now I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna take a look at just how open this area is on New Year's Day. Well, it's not New Year's Day, but it's the first day of the holiday. So let's go. All right, so here we go. Walking along, like I said, this building right here. Was it this building or that building? Maybe it was that building. Was the air bed and breakfast. Yeah, if you don't like the way I drive, stay off the sidewalks. Actually, you are allowed to drive on this sidewalk just because this area has such narrow streets that you wouldn't be able to park anywhere anyway. So yeah, we've got these little businesses along here are closed up for the holiday but just you wait one block ahead we're gonna see a bunch of stuff going on a little pet store of course a lot of these places will stay open due to the fact that people are traveling and need to put their cats and dogs someplace that was a kitty salon so no puppies in there but convenience store open restaurant open restaurant open over there and we haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet that is directly ahead and I'm gonna work my way around in a circle and then head over to the Vanka mall and see just what's open in there 
that will be a really good indication of just how uh, open or closed this neighborhood is. There we go. You'll hear a lot of explosions at this time of year. All right, what do we got? Got a little food store there. Uh, Chinese branded 7-Eleven there. We've got a little local supermarket on the other side. I really like this little street. This little street has a lot of everything. It has little traditional medicine places, foot massage, fruit vendors, bakeries, barbecue restaurants. Quite neat. Of course, motorcycles as far as the eye can see. And in this neighborhood, you pretty much have to because other than parking like this, half on the curb and half off in between the uh, concrete stones that are meant to keep you from doing that, there's nowhere to go. Here we've got a little grocery store with fresh barbecue, dried meat, live fish, very cool. This guy would have run me over because he wasn't looking. In this neighborhood, you have to look. I don't care who you are. There are people everywhere, even at this time of year. Now, a lot of these little places are closed now. It's very, very busy at regular times. Little gift store, nuts, snacks. Pharmacy, very important to have some of those open. I'm really quite surprised that all the pharmacies on my block in my neighborhood are closed so if you had some medical need you'd have to get a little bicycle you know it does look like the is that the traditional medicine place yes it looks like the traditional medicine place is open for massage and treatments that's cool Shops and stores open here. Another very nice gated community. It'd be really nice to live in a community like this, even though it's very busy. And this is nothing. This is nothing. Uh, during the regular uh, season, there are so many delivery bicycles racing around here. It is just nuts. N U T S nuts. <laughs> but that's just because there's so many restaurants and different places to order things from that uh, there's an army of these little delivery electric bicycles everywhere. All right. Not quite as much open as I thought the first time I rode through here on the uh, Blue Beauty, but uh, still not bad. And it's still not done. But it's very quiet. It's almost refreshingly quiet. And every restaurant that I pass, this is probably the least uh, busy restaurant right over there that I've seen so far. Every other one has been just packed. You'd have to fight to get a seat. And like I said, with so many of the restaurants and places closed, uh, the places that are open will do a lot better business. Got an actual 7-Eleven here. But that's not anything new. 7-Elevens customarily around the world are open 24-7, if not 24-8. <laughs> They're just always open. No such thing as days off for 7-Eleven employees, I tell you. Having been one well, 35 years ago, I can attest to that. This is usually filled with motorcycles, so I expect a lot of people are traveling.